On July 18, 2020, NASA launched a new vessel. Six astronauts aboarded Goliath 1 and set off to prepare the first human colony on the moon. The preparations were expected to take a year, but the vessel carried six months of additional food past that expiration in case of emergency. Radio communication was possible only around the side of the moon facing Earth. The astronauts were told to stay in this area to maintain radio contact. The astronauts had landed in the eastern bourne of the Serentanians. This lunar mare was largely covered in basalt and held few craters, making it perfect for colonization. The goal of the astronauts was simple. Map the area for colonization and blueprint the constructions of buildings. The only real danger of the moon was meteorites striking it, as the moon was devoid of any atmosphere. An electronic journal of the day's events was to be sent back to NASA along with the any interesting photos or videos. Although it was to be seen if anything exciting could happen. It was the moon after all. The first few months of a journal were fairly normal. The astronauts were right on schedule with the predicted progress. They wasted no time to blueprint the area. Everything in a normal town was to be in the future town. A grocery store, a school, a hospital, among other things of course. These supplies would be needed to be sent by other vessels. It wasn't their mission to build anything though. Then on the 17th of September that year, the daily report had stopped coming. It was speculated that it was forgotten, but didn't come the next day either. Radio communication was not successful with the astronauts and was only met with static. The radio tower was seen as working perfectly, but it seems that the astronauts were simply not within range of it. Several missing videos were later recovered from the site. The following are the description of each video. The astronauts were told to label their videos by date, using numbers following the date if more than one video was recorded that day. The first video was labeled approximately as September 16th, 2020. It is around 10 minutes long and is mostly spent examining small craters near the border of the mare. Near the end of the video, the astronauts talked about hearing scratching noises from the crater. But this was inaudible. The journal sent to NASA for the 16th of September did not mention the noise. The second video was also labeled appropriately as September 17th, 2020. This video was also focused around craters, specifically the nearby Bessel Crater. This is an approximately large crater, over 9 miles across and a mile deep. The plan was to eventually build a bridge across the crater but the video was roughly the same length as the previous one. The astronauts began to make notes of the crater when the scratching sounds are heard again. Only this time, it was quite audible and appears to be coming from the basin of the crater. The sound became so loud, it began to irritate the astronauts. One of the men looked down over the edge to find the source of the sound. A force unseen by the camera suddenly pulled the astronauts into the crater. His screams are heard briefly before the camera cut short. The third and final video is labeled Code 7700. Please help. The date is unknown, but it can be assumed that it was probably the next day. It begins as the astronaut in the oxygen tent. He explained in the calm voice that he has been unable to contact the radio. He also explained how the two of the other astronauts have been horribly slaughtered. At this point, tears started to roll down his face, but he continued to calm tone. The scratching noises from the previous video is heard suddenly and sharply. The camera is knocked over the adjusted wall of the tent and we listen to the astronaut pleading followed by a heavy thump. The man continued to plead and cry for help, stating that he can't breathe. The camera is completely turned away from the man so as to not see what attacked him. We see blood began to splatter to the adjacent wall. The man continued to scream for help as it now completely barreling. Blood splattered against the wall for a second time, against the wall alongside the sound of bones snapping and flesh being torn from them. His pleas for help suddenly stopped and are just reduced to insane screamings and crying. 
As blood splatter against the wall again, a bit of brown liquid now mixed with the bright red liquid. The tearing sound has since been replaced with that of squishing and sloshing. The only sound the man makes now is a quiet death rattle. Suddenly the man goes silent, and several of his organs are tossed near the direction of the wall. Coincidentally, the night of September 18th was a red moon. None of the bodies of the astronauts from Goliath 1 were ever fully recovered. Colonization of the moon had been postponed until further notice. The team sent to investigate the radio communication problems the astronauts were having refused to talk to the public. Of the four-man repair team, two have committed suicide since returning to Earth. While the three videos were recovered, a photograph was also recovered. It is still unknown as to what the photograph is.